Historically, vaccines have taken years to develop, but now we have COVID-19 vaccine developed in less than a year. This record speed to develop vaccine is not compromising the safety of the vaccine because all of the steps, clinical trials are still being performed. The vaccines who completed all phase three trials, published its results and approved by the health authorities should be considered as safe. Therefore, COVID-19 vaccines appear to be safe. There is no reported serious side effect directly associated with vaccines so far. Tens of thousands of people have already received the vaccines and none of them have reported any serious health problems. But there are some expected mild and transient side effects. Usually it takes one to two days to resolve and more common after the second dose. There are local symptoms such as redness, swelling and pain at the site of the injection or headache, chills, fatigue, muscle pain or fever. Such side effects are common for the vaccines approved for the other diseases as well. These transient reactions usually indicate that the person's immune system is responding to the vaccine and it will mount a good immune response to vaccine. Also, it's important to note that most adverse events occur shortly after receiving a vaccine rather than after many months and years. Don't be panic over the long-term side effects. A vaccine is a principal step in returning to our normal lives. Developing large-scale immunity through vaccination is key to stopping the pandemic. Vaccines are the key for the light at the end of the COVID-19 tunnel. Scientists are hopeful that life will be closer to normal by next summer or at the end of the 2021 with mass vaccination programs. So far, according to the results, the COVID-19 vaccine is highly effective at preventing symptomatic and severe disease. That could be an enormous help in keeping people out of the hospital, preventing deaths, and perhaps reduce some of the long-term side effects of the COVID-19. On the other hand, it's important to remember that vaccine is not a magic bullet. It's unlikely that society will return to normal overnight. It will take time to vaccinate everyone and reach to herd immunity. It's not a 100% effective and it's not yet known how much it prevents a symptomatic infection or how long its it effects will last. People who get the vaccine will still need to wear mask, social distance, wash their hands and avoid large gathering, especially indoors until the spread has stopped. Cancer patients are considered to have higher risk of a severe COVID-19 infection. Therefore, vaccination has utmost importance for the cancer patient. On the other hand, FDA states that there is no enough data for the cancer patients as people with cancer and weakened immune system were excluded in many of the COVID-19 vaccine clinical trials. Actually, the main concern in cancer patients is the efficacy. Cancer patients who had a recent stem cell transplantation or have active chemotherapy or radiotherapy have weakened immune system that may make the vaccine less effective. Therefore, we need to wait for more data and recommendations from the health authorities. And if you are a cancer patient, do not get the vaccines before informing your doctor. Music